say you're a doctor? In uh, America. In the Etats Unis? Yes, yes. And I have been uh, to Haiti two other times to help serve Haitians. You've been in Haiti already? Bonjour. Hi. Hi. So these are some of the locals who have come to be seen today. Um, sometimes patients will walk for hours to be seen by a doctor that they've heard through the grapevine is here. Patients are seen by our triage team and their vitals are taken and their complaints are taken. They can be treated for a lot of problems just by the triage team alone. Uh, pain, they can be giving worm medicines, um, and vitamins by the triage team. But if their problems appear to be serious enough, uh, they are taken to another room to be seen by one of the clinicians. As they're in my exam room, I need to have to put them down. And again, you can. As they lay down, then you can see that they I'm not quite sure how old he is, but was burned by a hot pot about three weeks ago. Hasn't been treated. It hasn't been cleaned. Uh, it's very infected. It looks like it's spreading to the other leg. It's tachycardic. He has a fever. Well, we were worried he um, had the infection in his blood already. Um, he had a temperature and he was tacky. It seemed to get a little bit better today. So, I mean, if it got bad enough, he mean, could uh, lose part of that leg or he could die if it, if it became septic. We cleaned it up. It looks pretty good. Started him on some antibiotics. I think he'll do fine. Blacked out. Where you had a moment where you don't remember anything. This is a girl who was in a motorcycle accident two days ago. Um, she did see a doctor. She has a laceration to her right cheek. It looks to me more like it's a lot of abrasions. Could be um, more of like road uh, rash. But the other thing so is, bottom line is, you need some water. You need soapy water with the basin. Oh, with the basin. And, and the gauze. With the gauze we have though. I want almost like a Clorhex sponge with the gauze. This is so rough. I don't want all that gauze to tear off into it. We don't have sterile water, so we're just using some soapy water right now, and then we will add some um, iodine to it just to initially clean it to see what we're dealing with. And then so she has a back, she has an infection that's starting underneath her existing stitches, and so we're cleaning it right now to see if we have to reopen the wound. Most likely a cancer. Does she know what cancer means? Okay. So these cells are going to grow and grow and grow and they will rob your body of life. But we can feel the problem has gone into, it has spread into this area. Uh, there is also, there is also cancer in this armpit. Okay. It has grown from the area in her breast into the areas in her armpits. With this diagnosis, I do not think she will be alive in two years. Heavenly Father, please reach down and touch this woman. Please help her to journey the rest of her life and know that each of her days is meant to have a purpose. That we can learn from her and it can motivate us to be better people as we treat other one another. Let us love her. You guys are really, really strong people. And uh, I think about you a lot. And uh, you teach me every day how to be a better person. And so um, I will be back in February. When I get off that bus, I can't wait to see you all again.